Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to show you some of the best camp locations that you can build your Halloween camp at. I'm just going to get the most obvious camp location out of the way first. It's right next to Alpine River Cabins where you can hear the screaming. Right here, this flat area next to the wood pile, I'll show you on the map. Right here, and you just heard the screams. Pretty fitting for a Halloween camp. If you put a house down there, it actually looks like a house would be there, right? You're not on the side of a mountain. You're not in the middle of a pond. You're actually in a flat area along the road with a little driveway. So how cool is that? So maybe you just want to build a house with some Halloween decorations. This is the perfect spot. And you get a wood pile. What more do you need? Now to get the second most obvious spot out of the way, I'm going to go over the Kanawha County Cemetery. We got a little Mothman tribute, right? We got some, some Mothman eggs, some poor souls, some poor Brahmins. Well, that looks like Jim there. Sorry, Jim. You had a bad day. You're going to have a bunch of bugs as neighbors, so be mindful of that. And yes, you can build over here. You just have to place the camp more in this direction. You can't get too close to this part of the cemetery, so just keep that in mind. But I have seen some pretty cool camps using these gravestones here. So maybe you want a grave, like a grave site or a grave site, a cemetery themed camp. Here you go. Perfect spot. I'm going to show you another cemetery which I like a little bit more than this one, but I have seen some people do some really creative things with this location. So you get the Mothman area, you get the gravestone area, and you get some bug companions, you know, just flying around, stinging the shit out of you. Either way, can't go wrong, right? What's this guy doing? He's just chilling, but he saw me, right? So you get some cool, some cool cultist neighbors too, right? Maybe they won't shoot at you. Maybe they'll just act like they see you and they'll just be friendly, you know? I could not make a Halloween camp location video without showing one location that's close to the pumpkin house. You know, it's one of the coolest locations on the map. Right next to Hopewell Cave, actually right above it, is another cemetery. I like this one a lot more than the last one when it comes to building. And yes, you can place your camp here. And I am not in a custom world, I'm in the normal world. Where else are you gonna find a location that literally had someone blasted into their graves from when the bombs dropped? Look at this dude. He was just chilling, and he got knocked from that hill all the way into his grave, and that's how he ended up. And this dude, well, he's gone, so you need to watch out for him. He might, he might attack you. Look at this. Who needs pumpkin racks when you got skull racks? You get a free scarecrow, you get coffins, it's already decorated for you. You could set up a theme here fairly easy. I have seen some absolutely insane camps here during, well, the fall, because fall is pretty much Halloween now, you know what I'm saying? Like there's already pumpkin spice stuff out. It's already Halloween time, guys. So I'm not gonna judge you if you wanna start, if you've already built your camp or are planning to build it today, whatever it may be. This spot, I really like this spot. I I can't speak enough about it if you're going to build a Halloween camp. You need to check it out. Give you a little bit of context of where we're at just on the map. The cave is just right below us. Then over here, if you're looking to get pumpkins, you're going to want to go down. Don't really have the graphical hardware to see that far. But that little uh, themed Halloween Hayride is over there where you can get pumpkins. Pumpkin house is down there. You got free uh, key cards with ghouls walking around. You know what I'm saying? Before I show you guys the last camp, I just want to let you know I'm going to show you my camp that I've been building along with it because I've already been building Halloween camp. I've been kind of doing it off and on since August. Yes, I know. I know. It's not Halloween yet. Okay. Yes. Yep. Get it. But the game is set during October, you know, so Halloween camps, they kind of fit all year. Either way, just a reminder, if you guys enjoy Fallout, consider subscribing. It really helps out. With that way, I'm going to show you the last one. And here we are, the last camp location I'm going to show you today. Keep in mind, before I show you my camp, it's not finished yet. It's still kind of a work in progress. It's, it's only September. 
and also keep in mind every time you spawn here there will be enemies either mole rats or super mutants it's not as bad as the last two but it is still there also this stuff out here is actually already here other than that actually i think that totem is there too automatically i had a bigger one but i got rid of it so this is all here before you even build all these mothman symbols and statues and then these two skeletons are here as well that's why i picked this location because i stumbled upon these i was searching the ash heap for actually locations exactly like this it's a very creepy spot like it is it's daytime right now and it still has this glow to it also this pond here you can build in it but these skeletons will make a lot of rattling if you put the foundations back any further. Like this guy, he will not stop moving. Or this one right here, because this is like a death pond over here. If you were in your custom worlds, you could probably build all the way around it with if you had the budget. I don't know about during, like in a, in a regular server though. Either way, I think this location is really, really cool. It has a setting to it already. It's a lot darker than the other ones in terms of like this, this stuff going on here. Show you what I'm doing with this camp real quick. I want to kind of go with like a haunted church looking thing. That's not what it is on the inside though. On the inside, there's some nefarious stuff going on in here. Poor Santa's locked up, man. Nightmare Before Christmas. Might be showing my age with that, but if you haven't watched it, you really should. It's both a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie. Still working out the, the outfits I'm going to put on the mannequins. I do have a shelter that goes along with this. I'm not going to show that today. I'm going to save that for my Halloween camp video. I do really like the way this is turning out so far. I've just been working on my other camps more. Let me know what you think about it. And let me know if you build at any of these camp locations for your Halloween camp. 